Yes, what it what it do? Anyways, it's your, it's your boy. It's, it is I would sleep. Look look at the uh, look at the grass. Wow, that's not, they mowed that grass. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, all right, it's your boy. Look at this tree. Look at the sky. Ah, ah. Somebody's walking in the trail right now, and they're like, "Why? Why is this sound going on every day in the, in the wilderness?" It's the sound of a whistling in his natural habitat. Anyways, all right. Uh, I, I'm a, this uh, my knee. Ah, uh, walking. Ah. Uh. In a world. I, I did my screenplay, and now I'm trying to find an agent. Um, and I'm touching up my first one. I'm basically adding another arc in it. And then I'm going to work on my third one, my third screenplay, which is going to be good. And I'm trying to make it a play. It's like a musical, but I don't know. And I'm trying to make this, like, transformative thing. So we'll see how, how that goes and things like that. But there's a car out here looping up on here because the cars like to be up, up on the spot. To uh, enjoy nature and jazz, but I, I I scare some of them away. But anyways, it's your boy. Look at this gorgeous face. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at me again. Look at this guy. Wow, wow. I mean, I mean, I mean, wow, wow. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let, let's. Oh, they they like this is a view that's favorable amongst the humans. Anyways. It's Smallville. I mean, let's. I, I, I did. I did. I did. I did. Uh, uh Sirens. I did. Kelly, Kyle X Y. I'm doing Smallville, the hallmark of the 2000 somethings TV shows. This is a straight, clean banger. Not the whole series because me per. I I, I jump like I don't care about the show when he becomes Superman and goes to sink in Metropolis. I, that's when I don't really care about the show because I feel like it you, it loses its gravitas and why I cared about the show. So I'll mainly be reviewing season one through four when and be like, oh hey, you can't do that. You you gotta review the whole show in jazz. Well, um, no, I don't. I can do whatever I want. I didn't subscribe and leave. That's that's how that's I gotta get that mula la. You know what I'm saying I got I gotta get that mula la. The mula la. Anyways, let's get it going. Anyways, I actually wrote down that, like, I had paper here because I brought my backpack, book bag. So I uh, I had it, like, it, it says Smallville, and it says Tom Welling is Clark Kent, and then Kristen Kirk. She was fine as duff. She's still fine as duff. She's 40, but I mean, she, hey, hey, Kristen Kirk, mm, 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 she bad, all right? She, she's fine and attractive. I admit that. Anyways, I, I had to, you know, you had to, you know. Anyways, then you got Justin Hartley in the later seasons of Oliver Queen. I really liked him out. Like, I, I didn't like, um, the guy who plays Oliver Queen now. Dang, I forget his name. Um, Stephen Amell, he's good. But this, 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 the, uh, the one that Justin Hartley playing Oliver Queen was just, I don't know. It's like, he was more like the comic book, which I enjoyed a lot more, versus this nitty gritty Batman, Stephen Amell, which is also really good. And it's even though they'll portray the character, and he probably did a better job. But that's because the TV show more like that. But, like, I like the, the, uh, comic book-y, like, Green, like Green Arrow, where he's more, like, happy-go-lucky with the beard, blonde beard, and, like, the blonde goatee thing here, and the hat. I, I, rather than the hood and Stephen Amell's character. Stephen Amell's character... Really good job. I'll give it to you. You got your eight, seven seasons of, of paycheck, and it was a good, it's a good TV show. But Josh Hartley, Oliver Queen, I, I, I think I liked more um, because it was more. It, there's more like life and funness to the character. But I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna watch like Stephen Amell Green Arrow because that was really good too. Um, and he got Pete is by Sam Jones, who's all buff now. If you didn't know, he's the you know, the funny, the comedy friend with, who always gives a good laugh, but he has heart and... I wouldn't say he has heart necessarily, but just... He he cares about Clark, and he's a good friend. And Lana Lang, she's the in, female interest. Um, but, like, Lois Lane, like, stinking queen of being a damsel in distress. 
honestly, I don't think like Lana Lang in this show is that she's she's not DMs in distress. Whereas like Lois Lane in comic books is she's a DMs in distress. She's always being saved by Superman. And someone could say, yeah, that's the thing, but eh, eh. I think she's less of that in like the, the the DC movie, but uh, that's too much to talk about. That's that's a whole other thing. And Allison Mack, the criminal, just gonna say she criminal. You get no respect. You get no uh 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 uh. You criminal. No, Allison Mack. She plays Chloe. She does do a good job in this TV show. Must acknowledge that. This is a true statement. She does good. She's you know she's it's like Pete and Chloe are the friends, and Chloe. Allison Mack, the criminal, uh-uh, no respect, uh-uh, criminal, mm-mm, bad. Anyways, uh, Chloe's a good friend, and she's, you know, like, trying to, I think she's trying to be a reporter, but, like, she's, like, she's kind of, like, the realm of the techie friend, she's the female friend, you know, she's not a side character, she's a character that's involved in the show, and she, her character has a lot of, like, intri- intri- in- intrigue and stuff to her, where I, I think I liked her character, Allison Mack, you're a criminal. She she's being played by a criminal. Allison Mack, can't get you can, don't get respect. You're a criminal. I condemn you for being the criminal. Not good. No bad. No. Anyways, uh, P is good. Um, it, it's a good show. Like I I, don't, I I'm not gonna sit here and, and gobble about like the characters, the actors, and the characters play the show. I have to write it down because it is important. They do a good job. And it's it's one it's a popular show from the 2000s era, and it's good. I, I don't know what to do. We got two lawnmowers over here. One looked at me. The other the other did not up. Oh, the other one looked at me. And they are right, or right, they both left. Okay. Anyways, the characters matter because the show is good, and it's 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 not like again it's a TV show where it's like those 2000 TV shows. Where it wasn't loud and big and explosions every two seconds like the show Power. Shots fired. Anyways, 50 Cent is a good producer though. It's not like that. It's not corny. It's not overdone. It's not oversaturated. It's... It, you get the plot where like everybody out here gets the superpowers. Every Basically every episode you're uncovering some sort of drama or you're finishing an arc from something else. Like... The execution of the show is cooked properly. It's cooked medium well, and it's tender and delicious like a steak should be. I'm not a big steak per- beef person, but I'm just it's just an anal- analogy. It's well done. It like it's not it's it's medium well. The chef cooks this movie good. Like the producing and the director and all this stuff is good. The actors are are compelling and interesting. And large, like larger than life for the TV show, um, and it's really, really, really good. Closer to like elements of the Breakfast Club of the dynamic between the characters because you actually care. They're interesting, and they're actually like they care about each other. It's not like, oh, let me close the door because I'm not part of this 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 story today. No, like every the, the character like Pete and Chloe. And, and Lana Lang, they all care about each other. And then you get Michael Roseben as Lex Luthor, and he kills it. And he's probably the best Lex Luthor ever. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's pretty, like, a lot of people would say that, that he's the best Lex, Lex Luthor ever. Because he's interesting, and he's real. Oh, shoot. I don't know. There's some black gook. There's some black gook now on my leg. And I don't particularly know what this black goop is. But I'm going to clean it off my leg. Anyways. Yeah. Michael Rose been one of the best Lex. The best Lex Luthor of all time. Hands down. No competition. He's interesting. He's like. He's a he's a really good bad guy. He's a really good good guy when he turns good. Like. Hey man. Like. When I, like when I, even now. When, like, when I think of like Lex Luthor. I normally think of like Michael Rosebun. Because he just. He did such a good job. And like. I'm not going to touch on the story itself. Because like. It's basically like someone has powers. You like you're figuring out the identity of Clark Kent, which is what makes this Smallville so good. It's about Clark Kent, not Superman. Not he—he's Clark Kent. 
he has this kid with the superhuman power. He's this alien character from another world who grew up on a farm, and he has friends, and they're trying to stop the uh, stop or control or help these other people with powers who suddenly have all these powers. They're trying to take care of this small town. They're looking out for one each other. They're trying to figure everything out. They're trying to figure everything out because they don't know what's going on, you know? They're trying to figure it out themselves, and they're growing up through the show, and that's the, that's the show with Smallville, you know? It's like, I, 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 kinda, I, I got heated and I got some, 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 but like, that's Smallville. Like, when he's out here in stinking Metropolis doing who knows what with who knows what, and in two seconds, he could just finish the whole show like stinking Flash, like, Bull Flash, Bull Flash is getting shot in the back. Uh, hi, I'm Flash. I'm the fastest man on earth. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Flash. I was the second. Hi, I'm Flash. I was the third. Hi, I'm Flash. I'm the 107th fastest person on earth, and I'm getting shot in the back and getting beat up by a big gorilla. Get out of here. Like, fr- forget all of that. That's some hoopla. Man, Smallville. A guy, and I'm being loud, but I'm in the parks. So I don't really care. Anyways, that's about an alien trying to figure everything out with his friends. And that's a TV show, and it's good. So go watch Smallville, because it's good. I, after season four, I, I can't speak of it. But anyways, yo, Smallville is good. And did that, I actually wrote the, because this, this is one of the only shows where the parents actually matter. Like, the parents in the TV shows actually are their own characters. And they're not just playing, like, like they're, they're not just a parent. Oh, that's the mom, that's the dad. It's like... That's, you know, that's, I forget, I don't know, sneaking. but he's, like, the dad is a really good character, the mom's a really good character, yeah, I look them up, because I didn't write their names down, but, like, they're part of this TV show, and I care about the parents, who are these, like, older people, and I in my generation, I care about the villains, because I'm like, we all, this was a regular kid, what happened to him? Like, I care about this TV show, and it, it, it it's a good TV show, go watch it, I'm done talking, look at this guy.